Well, are you excited to watch a video about paint drying? No? Oh, well, it's a good thing that's not what this video is about. What this video is though about is me continuing the transformation of this kitchen. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, let me just tell you that this kitchen did not look anything like it does now when I first bought this cabin about a year and a half ago. Originally, there was a very tall uh, counter and very long and very big actually that took up the majority of this room. It's at where my kitchen table sits right now. And it divided the room up into basically two alleyways. When my son came out to visit me last September, he helped me to remove that countertop, to remove the existing counter that sat here. also helped to rip out the non-functioning bathroom that I then turned into a functional pantry. also built this countertop here which is still in progress. I know that probably seems like asinine that it's still in progress but there's a reason for it. When I originally built this countertop I thought that I was just going to be able to use it um, or to build it strictly with structural lumber but I really didn't think about the gaps that are created from using structural lumber because it's got a a rounded profile on the edges and that meant that food and everything was going to sink into those rounded edges. Yes, I could have put wood filler in there, but it doesn't necessarily stain the same way that wood will. Also, one of the problems with using uh, wood filler is, is that eventually that wood filler has a potential to crack and pop out of there. Um, it's also going to mean that food and juices from anything could seep into any imperfections and then that's not sanitary. I wanted a usable work surface that I didn't have to rely upon caulking or wood filler or anything like that. So what I did was I purchased this piece of butcher block and I'm not going to cut this piece of butcher block until I get the piece of stone that I'm having fabricated for me that is going to sit at the end of the countertop here, at the end of this butcher block, that's gonna act as my drain board. In the winter months, I do my dishes right at the wood stove. That keeps the water nice and hot. And then I am gonna drain them on that drain board and the butcher block is going to allow me to go ahead and do all of my food processing. I mentioned in a previous video that I would be painting this kitchen. And you're probably thinking, why are you painting in an old cabin? like? Just leave it natural wood. Well, there's a couple reasons for it. One is I'm the same color as the backdrop here. And so in all my videos, I'm kind of blending into the backdrop. And so I do think that it'll help to add some contrast between me and the backdrop of my videos. However, there's also another reason. I am a big fan of the 18th and the 19th centuries, especially when it comes to their use of color. They had very colorful clothing. They also had very colorful uh, homes. 
between their wall treatments and their curtains and their furnishings. And I want to introduce some of that here into my cabin as well. Now, my cabin is not that old, but I still want it to have some of that old world, old world flair. And so one of the things I'm gonna be doing is adding some historic colors to the area between the shelves. I don't think at this moment that I'm gonna actually paint the shelves themselves. Instead, what I'm gonna do is just paint the area between the shelves and also on the shelves leading into the pantry way. So yesterday, Kenai and I headed down to Valdez. gonna be like that but I got some prep work to do so time to get started on masking because like I said I don't want to paint the shelves at least I don't think so so for now I'm gonna mask them off I'm gonna put a drop cloth over the butcher block and then I will get started on painting take one last look I think that's going to do it. What do you think? Not what you were expecting? I said they had bright colors in their historic homes. And that white's pretty bright compared to the plywood that was behind it. But no, I'm kidding. It's just the primer. Now the real fun begins. Though, to be honest with you, while I'm amazed at how much that the logs and the boards that make up the shelves pop against that white. I'm a little concerned about the color choices that I've made for the cabin. Uh, they are historic. They are colors that work with my uh, furnishings and what have you, but I'm afraid that they're going to not allow all the other woodwork to pop. So wish me luck. But uh, yeah, now the fun begins. And I would do it like this and say, Ta -da! But no, I'm going to bring you along for a little bit of the painting, just a little, but not enough to, uh, you know, make it too boring. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think most people find painting to be one of the most boring tasks on the planet. Um, and it is very time consuming. Even this little bit of space took a lot longer than I expected. And I have a couple coats to do for the colors. So Time to get started.
What do you think? Do you love it as much as I do? I think it does a lot for this room. It brightens it up tremendously in here. Everything that I've done so far has just made this room seem so much bigger and brighter and more of a pleasure to be in. But this by far is my favorite. Honestly, each thing that I've done, I thought was um, going to be my favorite. Removing that countertop. That was great. Moving the wood stove over to this one side so it's more centralized in the cabin. Fantastic. Adding a window so there's some additional light in here and I can get some cross breeze without having to have the doors open. Adding the walk-in pantry and opening up that wall that was the just cluster of eyesores of canned goods and dry goods. Building this countertop, adding the chandelier. But honestly, I think this paint is phenomenal. I was really worried about how the brown shelves would look against that red paint. And originally I thought that I was going to paint the side shelves a contrasting color. And if you're wondering why these shelves are not full yet, it's because everything is still sitting in the pantry. I literally just got done filming. And so those shelves need to cure for at least 24 hours before I move everything back onto them. And if you're curious about the green paint, it's for an upcoming project too. So there's lots still to happen around the cabin. So I encourage you to stick with me and see how this cabin finishes being transformed and stick with me for plenty of adventures yet to come because spring is just around the corner, even though it is rather cold outside. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about my color choice and um, what you would do in this cabin or in this kitchen if it were yours. Like I said, I'm always open to suggestions. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate reading your comments and I appreciate your support. I want to say a special thank you to my channel members. Um, it is because of you that I was able to afford to do this paint project here today. And so I want to say thank you to each and every one of you, whether you're a channel member or you're on Patreon or donating through PayPal. Your continued support means a lot to me. Until next time, please stay safe and take care. And I will have another video out soon. I'll see you guys then.